In Vincent Town, the Grenadines has expressed gratitude to Trinidad and Tobago for coming to the aid of the country following devastating floods in late December. And Prime Minister Kamala Pasan Bissasa has responded to critics here at home who question TNT's support of St. Vincent and the Grenadines while this country continues to face its own issues. But Mrs. Pasan Bissasa says TNT's aid can go beyond helping the people of St. Vincent as it can spur growth locally as well. We have more in this report from Jonathan Chase. Prime Ministers for Trinidad and Tobago and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Kamala Passad Bessessa and Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, enjoy a good working relationship and indeed a friendship. Kamala and I have developed a very close relationship. And even when we disagree on, on matters, as we would from time to time, the disagreements have not been fundamental. They have been on a tactical approach here or there because clearly we cut from the same social democratic cloth and looking out for the interests of the people of our region and of our respective countries. That bond perhaps made easier Prime Minister Passad Bessessa's decision to provide aid to St. Vincent following widespread destruction caused by the December 24th floods. The aid came in multiple tranches and amounted to over 15 million TT dollars worth of goods and building materials. The last stage was a donation of pipes for which there was an official handing over ceremony at the recently concluded CARICOM summit. Our water systems were smashed. We were without water um, for about seven days, Brian, in several parts of the country, in one or two others, in, one, in some other places, ten days, up to three weeks. On the subject of aid moving forward, Mrs. Passard Bessessa was clear. It can and will continue but not at the expense of TNT, because she said when humanitarian aid is properly administered, both countries involved benefit. And so when we share with you what we can produce in kind, then you can use it here to produce for your own population. And I'd say this because I do not want in Sri Lanka Bago to be misinterpreted, that I'm picking up everything and giving it away. No, no, no. I want it to be seen as it is in good faith and fellowship and in friendship that will enrich the people of Trinidad and Tobago, whilst at the same time enriching the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Infrastructural damage inflicted in the 2013 Christmas Eve storms is not all repaired, but PM Gonsalves says the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines will endure. Jonathan Chase, C News. Christmas Eve 2013, a day never to be forgotten by Vincentians. In just three hours, a storm dumped 12 inches of rain on the island. That's more than typically recorded in the wettest month of the year. The damage done to the infrastructure was widespread and devastating. The people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines are still in recovery mood. Our news team of cameraman Shaka Talisford and reporter Jonathan Chase bring you this update on SVG in recovery. Kingstown St. Vincent was virtually unaffected by the December 2013 flooding. But as the capital, chief port and commercial centre of the island, it is a reflection of the economy. The country's economy, based in the main on agriculture and tourism, will no doubt have received a small boost from hosting the 25th intercessional CARICOM meeting of heads this week. But SVG needs more than a shot in the arm. But everywhere you go in St. Vincent, there are creeping signs of decay. Even here at Bukamont Bay Resort, host to the CARICOM Secretariat, there are signs that the economy is not doing as well as it once was. This is not to say the resort where the region's leaders met to discuss CARICOM matters was in bad shape. Parts of it were pristine, but on the edges, it was falling apart. It is a metaphor for St. Vincent and the Grenadines as a whole. While parts of the country appear unaffected by the flooding, a wider view reveals flaws. Diana Sam, a clothing vendor, says business of late has been terrible. She believes an injection of state funds, particularly focused at addressing high unemployment, could right the economy. All we need is more money in the country. Sales slow. This is like a ghost town. We're calling on the Prime Minister to increase more work. More work, more money, more money spent. The plight of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is not lost on Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez. He says 150 people made homeless by the storm almost three months ago are still living in shelters. And in three hours, poor people became indigent and vulnerable people went into abject poverty. They lost everything. 
the fridges, the stoves, everything. Their, their furniture, all their clothing, their belongings. They, 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 you're in a house and the next thing you and your family find yourself in a shelter. But there simply isn't enough money from a faltering tourism market or from the recovering agriculture sector to fix all of the country's problems right away. Jonathan Chase, Senior.